Hi, I'm Jason Rosenstock. I'm the creative director at White Whale Games. White Whale is currently hard at work on the ultimate side-scrolling sword fighting brawler titled God of Blades. God of Blades is so unique because it's set in a dynamic physical world. That means that swords clash against each other in real time using real simulated physics. They can shatter each other and they all have unique powers that exist in that physical world. This means that all of the things that happen during the game aren't scripted events or triggered animations. They're all happening because of the physics and the dynamics of what the player actually does in real time. We feel that all of these elements put together make God of Blades a totally unique experience that you're going to love. In God of Blades, we have a whole arsenal of really cool weapons for the players to use. And two of my favorites are these extremely powerful weapons that are on opposite ends of the spectrum. One is a light sword that is extremely fast and nimble, and the other is an incredibly heavy, powerful sword. The light one is called Starwind, and I like it a lot because it's made out of this ancient bone that has this sort of glowing field around it. And Starwind has in it the ability to sort of supernova along the edge of its blade, and that incinerates an enemy upon contact, but only upon contact with the skin, which means that it can be extremely powerful for a player to use this power, but if you can't land a hit, it doesn't do you much good. So if you're fighting an extremely skilled opponent and you can't manage to get your shot in under his guard or around him or, or break his shield, it won't do you any good. So there's still an uh, aspect where the player has to be good enough to get the hit in to use the power to its fullest extent. But once they do, it just disintegrates the opponent and their armor just falls to the ground. Now Dark Star is extremely heavy and slow. It's really good at smashing through the opponent's weapons. And its power is particularly insidious. It, it summons out of the ground these small, maybe about this big, these sort of glowing eels that burrow into an enemy's flesh and then they fly back into the sword once they've had their fill and they give you the life that they ate from their opponent.